Hey guys, how are you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So what I'm going to do today is I decided, because I've been drawing faces and, like I said, and practicing and trying to, you know, kind of get out of the folk art girl a little bit. And I drew, I drew this. I just sat down and drew it and I thought, oh my gosh, the eyes were off and this and that. And I thought, why not do, I'm trying to find lighting. Why not do a, um, like, how can I fix this kind of video, right? So I did this and I thought, okay, well, how can I fix it? Because like I said, the eye was up here and everything like that. So what I did was I erased some of the hair and I erased this eye because it just was not matching. And I just, um, gessoed, you know, a little bit over it because I traced it in marker like I always do. Um, and sometimes I don't see the issue until after I do it in marker. I don't know why. It is just what it is. And I thought to myself, I'm not the only one in the world who probably draws something, no matter what it is, and crumples it up and throws it away because you get disgusted or you're like, well, that doesn't look like what I wanted or what have you. So I thought, let's try this. You know, how can I fix this little, you know, kind of thing. So as you can see, I have this face. And I did do it in marker and I did the eye, I traced the eye marker. I did not trace the um, eyebrow or the hair right here because I didn't know what I wanted to do. Um, but when I did it, it just didn't look like what I wanted. Now, somebody has suggested, and I'm so sorry, I forget um, the person's name, but I'm very thankful. But they had written me and said, you know, it's not necessarily your hands. It's, you know, you should be drawing on a tabletop easel or your easel, um, which, you know, I was like, yeah, I should get my easel out and do that. However, when I sat down and started drawing, I forgot about it and I didn't do it. You know what I mean? So here we are. So I'm having an issue with putting the uh, eye up higher, which I always do. And that definitely could be that I'm not using the um, tabletop easel or that kind of thing and seeing it straight on. So I thought, okay, well, I got to fix this. I don't want to just scrap the face. I have a lot of shadow in here today. So I just got to kind of figure out. Now, I know measuring would help immensely, but sometimes my measuring is off, too. I don't know what my issue is. Maybe I'm just a weirdo, which could be the case. So I'm going to measure real quick how far the eye is from the nose. And it's about a half an inch of start. So I'm going to do that. Start there and see it's that would be a half an inch as well, but it's still where, where I started it. So now I got to figure out how I'm going to do this and where it's going to start. So this is how I like to do it, but it never works out that way. Let's do this part of the eye and she kind of goes up. So I guess I'm going to start the eye right there. That's where the eye is going to be. Let's see if we can save this. <laughs> so I'm going to go in, but see her eye needs to be up a little bit. And it's on gesso, so it erases pretty good with the pencil. So that would be the mark there, and then like that. Is that still too far? I don't know. Kind of looks like it's still yucky. So we're going to try again. We're going to try it again. Urgh. No. Okay. 
Let's see. Might need a little, a little thicker. And then I'm going to put the eye in like that. Ugh, no. Why? 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 I'm so used to doing odd girls that my measuring's kind of off. Wonder if we do that. Erase this and bring everything down a little bit. What kind of voice was that? I don't know. So make this the eyelid. Yeah, see, I cannot get something right here is not measuring up for me. So let's try. I hate giving up. Oh, I hate giving up. I know you guys are probably sick. I'm doing this for the few of you who do enjoy these videos. Um, not necessarily for views. <laughs> I never do videos for views. I just do it because people like them. Matter of fact, I do need to, um, do need to do a vlog. I got a lot of questions that people ask that I must answer. And it's hard to go through all the comments all the time because a lot of the questions are asked over and over. So That's more streamlined. Okay. I know it's shadier, but mm, that's not too bad. That won't be too bad, I think. I think, I think, I think. Like I said, it's shaded in because it is on gesso and it does have a little bit of a sandy uh, consistency. But once you have that on there and it dries, you definitely could go with a little, I have a fine sandpaper that I usually use on there. I didn't today, obviously. But um, you definitely can do that if it's an issue. I, I, this is just me practicing and playing. So I'm going to go in here and erase this. Erase this. I want this to have a little more shape. So I want that up more. So I made delicious tomato soup yesterday. Oh. And now they say in the recipe that the longer it sits like in the refrigerator, you know, like overnight or the next day, that it tastes even better. So I'm excited to taste to see what it tastes like. But I used two cans of um, plum tomatoes in their own juice. I used one container of, I used chicken stock, but you can use vegetable stock for vegan. Um, and I used two onions, two cloves of garlic. What else? A tablespoon of butter. And then a tablespoon of or two tablespoons of oil, which you don't necessarily need the butter if you're going vegan as well. But that's just to saute up your onions and your garlic and some thyme and some basil. And then two fresh tomatoes. All you know, cut up and I boiled all that down and boiled it and cooked it for a while and then I pureed it until it was like absolutely smooth and it was delicious. Delicious. And I did, uh, like, uh, I sliced up some bread and put it in the oven with some, I used a little bit of butter, but you can use oil on it uh, to get it, like, crouton-y. Oh, God, it was so good. I cannot wait to have it again. Okay, so I'm going to go up. I'm going to trace this as a swoop. But if you like tomato soup, that is the way to go. All right, so I'm gonna kind of, I'm kind of winging it, so because you can see I kind of 
do the line there when I really need the line to be connected here. Like that. Okay, we'll see. We shall see because I'm going to leave that dry for a second and then really erase it. Let's see if we overcame the issues. I don't know. But while that dries, oh, I love peeling off dried glue. It makes me so happy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This hair. And I like the jaggedness. So I'm going to keep this. So I'm going to kind of just trace this. And I'm using a permanent marker, which could be a Sharpie, which could be a Bic, could be a Faber-Castell, could be a alcohol marker, you know, something that dries that is permanent. Because I'm going to paint over it. So I did the bangs. I did, this is all done. All right, so now I'm going to go in. I'm going to tell you something. I'm, I'm not digging these lately. I'm not digging it. It's just not doing what I need it to do. And I sit and I, I don't know if any of you have tips. <laughs> There's my hand. All right, I'm going in. Just doesn't erase like I want it to. I'm going to take off those eyebrows. All right, that's not too bad. Not too bad. I'm going to leave this. I drew that in pencil, but um, so I'm not going to necessarily erase that. And I drew the neck on as well. Okay. I just really want these eyes really clean as I can get them, even though I'm going to be painting them. Okay. Now I saw. All right. That's how it doesn't help that I have marks on my I must have paint or something on my screen and I'm looking and it looks like it's on here, but it's not. OK, so I'm going back in to do these eyes. One more time so I can see. OK, I'm not hating. I'm not hating on it. All right. Now you can see definitely this one isn't as dark. Okay. So I'm going to I'm going to be okay with that. It's not exactly, but I'm, what I'm thinking is that the face is too like where I drew the face. Let's see if this did I draw all the way up here? It's too far away from the, like from the eyes, like from where I want them. And I think that might be throwing me off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm not going to use my marker right now. I want to kind of bring that down a little bit, but I want it a little bit of a curve. I'm getting sick again. I cannot catch a break, I swear. My ear has been killing me for days. It's all the way down on my throat. And all I want to do is get in bed. But I want to draw, so. All right. I think that's going to look better, isn't it? A little bit better. And then I think up here as well. I think I'm going to take it from here and go up that way. And I'm leaving it in pencil for a reason. Now I'm going to take some of my gesso. And look, if you don't have gesso, use white paint, okay? Use your white acrylic paint. This is We're just playing around here and, and learning and drawing. Don't let people get in your head and say you can't use it. I hate that. Gesso, it doesn't, you know, gesso and you, you throw gesso down, and then you throw white paint over it or black paint. What's the difference? And please don't leave me comments about it. I don't care. Okay? I'm going to tell you right now. Don't care. Now you can see that my black isn't exactly dry, which I'll hit it with the heat gun. I always like to hit it with the heat gun. I'm just trying to clean this up a little bit so I can see. And this doesn't, you know, this doesn't mean that you're a bad anything. This just means that you're using your art 
tools to your advantage. Why not? Now, I think she's going to need her thin, her, well, maybe her chin will be okay. I don't know. I'm more where I'm more like doing the head kind of thing. And you can, you know, tap it in the gesso or white paint, whatever you're using. And then, yes, I did. I've gotten quite a few requests on um, black gesso. So I'm going to show you how you can achieve black gesso without going and buying black gesso when you only have white gesso. And it's not going to take a rocket science to figure out what to do. Scientists might take a rocket scientist to teach Kelly how to say rocket science. We don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All right, I'm going to take. All right. So that's what I'm going to do now. Not hating, not hating, because the paint will, like I said, don't, you know, use it to your advantage. Now I can see this eye is a little thinner. I think that's what is getting me, is that this is a little thinner than that one. Also, the eye isn't as round. You know what I'm saying? Like here. So we'll see when we color that in. And then, okay, so what am I going to do first? I'm going to lay down, I think I'm going to lay down some color. And I'm going to do my favorite, it's Santa's Flesh. Uh, it's from Delta Ceram Coat. I love it, but I also love my, uh, you know, folk art. But I want to do this a little lighter. And I think right now this is the lightest color I have up here. And you can tell it's almost gone because it's very dry. Very dry. Santa's flesh. All right. Now let me have let me find a paintbrush because that would be good. Where are all my paintbrushes gone? Where'd they go? Here we go. And I'm just gonna keep it dry, but you know, you do you. You want it wet? Do it wet. Wet at first. I'm not gonna worry too much if I go into the hairline because I'm gonna be painting over it. You know. So yeah, so that's what, um, that soup, I just keep thinking of that tomato soup, but so good. So good. Do you guys like tomato soup? What's your favorite soup? Emily's boyfriend, um, is Turkish and they eat a lot of soup. So I made, I did make rice. I did make the, like, I forget what kind of rice it was. Emily won't eat white rice, but she'll eat brown rice. So I like making brown rice dishes that I know she'll eat. Oh, I didn't hit that with the heat gun and it's going to run a little bit, which is okay, but let me do this real quick. I always do this because even though it's a permanent marker, it, um, like it goes into the fiber. This is a piece of cardstock. It takes a few extra minutes to dry for some reason. And I know it's because it's sitting in there. That'll be enough. But yeah, so she eats the brown rice. So I like to make like faux, like fried rice where I'll take, I'll cut up a carrot into like, you know, chunks, small chunks as if it's like in a fried rice. Um, so I'll cut up that. I'll cut up onion, um, whatever kind of vegetables I have. And then I will stir fry it real good. You know, cook it till it's a nice, almost uh, soft, like al dente, if I want to sound fancy. And then I will cook the brown rice separately. Um, we have a rice cooker or I cook it on the stove, whatever I feel like. And then I will uh, put it in the pan, the rice in the pan with the vegetables. Start around. I'll put in, you know, like a teaspoon of soy sauce, a little sesame oil, kind of stir all that up a little bit, you know, season it, salt, pepper, whatever you want, um, garlic powder, whatever. And then I will put in, I'll drain a can of peas because my daughter likes the peas and I'll drain them and put them in and stir it. So it's mostly vegetables with some brown rice and it's not fattening at all. So if you're vegan, that's another thing you can do. Um, and yeah, so, and then you're getting your fiber and you could put, oh, I love me some chickpeas roasted. You could put those in there, um, whatever you want, whatever you have. And don't be afraid to buy frozen vegetables and keep them in your, uh, you know, in your uh, freezer rather. The other day I made quesadillas, 
and I, I had like two peppers here. Oh, you got to be kidding me. What happened here? My computer. Is it still recording? Okay, I thought Spyro, Spyro likes to lay under my thing and unhook everything. So everything turns off, but I guess my screen just, I don't know why. I keep getting updates and I update my computer and it changes everything. I don't know what the heck it does. I never tell it to and it's constantly changing it. So anyway, so I made uh, chicken quesadillas, but I had a couple peppers here that I had left, like that I only used half in a salad or whatever, and they were starting to go bad. So I threw in peppers and onions from the freezer that were frozen. And then I threw in a fresh onion and a fresh, the rest of the peppers I had to like, that kind of, you know, give that more fresh taste, but I sauteed them all together and then, you know, made quesadillas with them. You know, or I get the frozen carrots and all, and then I'll throw in a carrot just, just for like the freshness. That's like with the tomato soup I threw in, I had two tomatoes left and I threw those in for the freshness aspect. Her boyfriend's the best. He He's the best. Yesterday he took her and bought her, surprised her. She didn't even know yesterday was his birthday and he made us promise that we wouldn't get him anything. He took Emily to the store, to Walmart or wherever, and bought her a expensive Fitbit. She had a Fitbit that she had gotten for her birthday two years ago, a year ago, and when she was working at PetSmart, washing the dogs and all, it broke. I think I even said, I even talked about it and she hasn't had one and she misses it because she loves it. You know, she loved it so much. So he surprised her, said he had to go there to get something for at home and uh, surprised her with her Fitbit. So she was so excited on his birthday. He's the sweet, he is, he's the sweetest, sweetest. So that's exciting for her. And this one does all kinds of stuff. So, you know, all right, that's not too bad. The, the face, I'm not, you know, like I said, I'm not making this into anything spectacular. I might throw it in an art journal or even on a camp. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it's going to go in my pile that I have sitting over there of all that I've been painting of the girls. Okay. So I want to just paint the eyes and then start to do the hair so I can kind of see where I'm at. Um, Let's do, I'm just going to do a darker, like a light blue. It's a cobalt blue. And I'm just going to go in the middle here and spread it around. Same thing here. And this covers, so that's good. I usually do the eyes green, but today I, I want to do them blue. And if it gets on the eyelid, you know, don't worry. And then I'm going to take a little bit of white. I'm just going to wipe my brush off. I know, you know what? I'm going to grab a little bit of a smaller brush. A little smaller brush. Oh, you're a little peewee. I'm going to get that little teeny brush right there and take a little bit of white. And, oh, this white's empty. And kind of mix it in. You can definitely see that. There we go. I'm just kind of, you know, smashing it all together and blending it. Not worried so much. I'll keep that back. Now I'm going to wet this brush. This is a nice little, 
brush. I'm going to give it a wipe, but I want to really take that blue off that I kind of pushed on too much. I've been seeing on Instagram, you guys doing the uh, drawing and the odd girls and, and drawing realistic, more realistic um, paintings. And oh, God, you guys are just rocking it. Makes me so happy. Okay, I think that should be. Rinse one more time. And I can just go under with, um, what's it called? Yeah, this eye is definitely bigger, isn't it? And that blue is really too much. Almost alien-like for, I don't know. Let's see, I don't know how happy I am. Maybe once she has hair and eyebrows. Now remember, there's nothing wrong with using colored pencils or watercolor pencils or anything on here that you want. Um, you know, that's what makes it mixed media. So for her lips, I'm going to go in with this color, which is one of my favorites. I'm telling you what, I'm having a hard time seeing today. Just like that, nothing, nothing too fancy. I'm going to go back in and, you know what, no, I'm not going to go back in with the black yet. I'm going to do these eyes. Hmm. What color, what color, what color? I think her hair I'm going to do because I'm loving this orange poppy color. So I think I'm going to go in and do that. I'm just going to use my, I'm just going to plop it in there and follow these lines. Now I love tracing everything in the black, like all the lines, because it makes it more illustrated look and I like that look uh, sometimes, but you know, you can definitely go in with a color, like an orange or a red or whatever to kind of paint, you know, draw these out and sharpen them up if you want. You can see this paper's like wonky. And of course it's not, like I said, it's not mixed media paper or watercolor paper. And we're putting all this stuff on it. That's an interesting look. I just want to see if I like these bangs because I'm trying different hair kind of things going on. So I kind of want to see. I'm going to wet my brush the littlest bit just to kind of smooth this out here. And then turn my brush to the side because that'll help give you a better look there. But hair's crazy, so 
You don't have to worry about it. Let it a little more. And bring it down. She definitely needs eyebrows. So that's all. I'm not going to worry too much about her hair. I just kind of, I'm trying to figure out how I want these bangs. for the eyebrow. I don't think I have orange, orange. Yellow, orange. Let's see. This one might be better. Let's see if we can get these on here. worrying about these right now either. I always end up making everything more folk already looking anyway. Who am I kidding? And now I think for her eyelids, I'll go this darker kind of pumpkin color. It's like coloring in your own coloring book, isn't it? You know, you're kind of just doing your thing. I'm um, going to need white. So what I'm going to do, just because I'm not too concerned, I'm more concerned with the shape of the eyes, though, I'm going to take my white gel pen and just kind of clean up these eyes a little bit around. That one doesn't need it, but this one kind of. Okay, that's enough. Now when you're done, if you do that, make sure you wipe off, you know, your gel pan, pen because you don't want it to dry and get, you know, stuff all over. And then I will grab my big black pen and I'm just going to do the pupil in the middle and I kind of just have it go out like that. Same thing, wipe off whatever you're using with acrylic paint so it doesn't ruin it. And then I'm going to hit everything real quick here. And you can use black paint. You don't have to do all this. I'm just trying to like figure out, you know, what I'm digging. I think I'm going to go in with these eyes though. These. Let's see if I can. I'm not so much digging that, but I'm going to leave it alone, I guess, for now. And then let's go in.
I like that. It brings it a little to life. It's not, like I said, not, not everything, but uh, it's all right. Should put some things in there too, but hmm. Do a little highlight. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to do on her. She looks a heck of a lot better than she did when I first started. So I'm okay. I'm okay with it. Like I said, not worrying about the hair so much. But her eye is still off. I can see it's way off there. So I got to work on that. That's just something I'm going to work on. So yeah, thanks for sitting with me while I sat and did this. I just wanted to play and uh, see what I could, you know, what I could come up with. Let's give her Halloween hair. You know, instead of just throwing it away to see if I could, you know, fix it at all. And that's what I did. So that's it. especially because I'm not feeling good and I just feel like playing around. So that's what I wanted to do. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you guys are doing this too. Like I said, I can see that face. Let me know down below what you guys think, how to fix this. Because I don't know. I think what threw me off is it being her going up that way. And I kind of dug it because it was different. But I don't know. I'm not thrilled with it, but um, it's a lot better than the other one. So I could probably cut some of this off and save the face and then try to, you know, kind of play with it even more to fix it. But, you know, thanks for sitting with me. I appreciate it. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys very much. Progress, not perfection. That's what I'm working on with these. Just having fun, trying out different things. And please don't forget to tag me. Uh, all my social media is down below if you want to follow me. Uh, tag me. I'm on Facebook. I have emails, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, all over the place. And, yeah, I would love to see what you guys do. So I hope you all have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.